we are going to talk about the energy super cycle and why we think it's unstoppable. We all say that we are in the middle of a transition. I believe that we are just in the beginning. Well, of course, we, we are excited about this um, age of electricity and the super cycle. Uh, and we not only believe in it, we feel it and we, we know it's coming. We have to provide a sustainable power supply while ensuring the carbon neutrality. We are in no position to meet this demand at the moment. There will not be any transition without transmission. If somebody in Norway would have explained or stated 20 years ago, we stop using our own oil and gas and we're going to electrify everything, everybody would say, are you crazy? But now it's cheaper. Electrification is, is, is cheaper, using a lot of hydropower. So I think we have to do that in a, in a way which is technically acceptable for society and then we're solving the issues short term as well. We have to solve this kind of uh, issue from the supply side and demand side, also the tra transition, uh, power transition. Holistic solution is very important. Last year, we installed across the world 600 gigawatts of solar. Now, I'm going to compare that to nuclear. Nuclear, there was three and a half gigawatts put online. If I look at gas, 10 gigawatts put online. We have never seen an energy technology come to market as quickly as solar. Why? It's easy to install, and it's cheap, and it's getting cheaper. Really use technology to get the most out of the grid and the power system we are operating today. And why we're doing that, we're planning and constructing a whole new transmission grid. And uh, in order to establish energy security, we have to consider about how we can establish trust among like-minded countries. We're dealing with people. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to have in his background anything. Not a cable, not an overhead line, uh, not a coal-fired station, not a gas station, not to say a nuclear asset. But it was always the same thing since more than 2,000 years. Uh, you can read about it that nobody wants in his backyard any change. So we have to find a compromise and say, look, this is the right thing what we are doing. This is what it cost us. These are the advantages. We have no time to sit around and wait for someone else to pick up the bill or pick up the risk. I think we need to lean in and share the risk and share the cost because we have no time to sit around and wait for someone else to dig in and do the job for us. I can do without coal tomorrow. I can do without oil. I cannot do without electricity.